Hey guys, it's Vampire Mike from Sega CD Universe, and I wanted to talk about a movie that I had never heard of, but I found out about it in a strange way, and now I've done a little research, and I think it's worth just talking about because it was an interesting film. I just got finished watching it. My friend Gabriel Avia is in a Facebook group with me, a VHS group, that I just kind of look at things in because I don't really have uh, VHS tapes or a VCR any longer. But I find the, the cover art and the ideas and stuff interesting. And he had ran across at a thrift store this movie, The Lower Circle, from 2009. It had uh, printed out artwork in like a case and a DVD-R of the movie. He has since uploaded it to archive.org. I don't believe this movie ever got any kind of official release. It looks like uh, via their YouTube channel, which has some trailers, Lower Circle 7, that there was a website at one point called LowerCircle.com, which had the movie in full, but it is no longer active. So it's now on archive.org. I will put that link down in the description if you are so inclined to watch it. If you know me and you watch this channel before, I tend to like things that have heart. I don't necessarily have to agree with the message. Um, I'm not big on Hollywood blockbuster money makers. I like movies that are weird and interesting, that have heart. I tend to gravitate more recently, the past few years, to B-movies and horror and schlock. So um, he posted this and I was just very interested. I just got finished watching it and it is a modern take on Dante's Inferno's Lower Circles of Hell, hence the name The Lower Circle. So it has three stories, it's an anthology, it has these people going into, um, I guess it's Purgatory, and there's this guy there, I don't think he's supposed to be, um, I, he's escaping me, the name of, of the character, but the guy who takes Dante through hell, I can't think of his name. Um, it has three stories based off of lust, gluttony, and violence, and the first story is um, all about, obviously, sex and the, the crazy stuff happening with this character. Um, then there's also this other story regarding gluttony, but it also has sex built in. So the guy is this rich, sort of dialed up to the millionth um, Texan who owns all these industries and buildings and is constantly mistreating people and abusing people to get his way and, and you know, uh, have sex with people, and he's just a really horrible person. And then the final story is about this Secretary of Defense that is kind of doing anything he has to do to torture and abuse these uh, political prisoners in, I guess it's supposed to be Guantanamo Bay. And while this is going on with these three stories, both, you know, excuse me, all the lust, the gluttony, and the violence, which are sort of intertwined in all of them. You could say the first film about the priest is lust, but there's also, you know, bits of violence in that, and then the same goes for the, the other uh, two stories. There's these other characters that are being toured around hell and showed, shown how these people end up and what they're doing now in the lower circles of hell and the price they're paying for being such bad people on earth. And the people that are being toured around hell have their own reason that they're there. Um, I think one of them was a suicide. Um, I forget what the other guy was, but while they're going through it, they're, they're being sort of ushered around by this character. Uh, Virgil is the name I was thinking of earlier. I don't know if his name is Virgil, I can't remember, but in Dante's Inferno, uh, I believe Virgil sort of takes him around to show him, you know, what happened to everybody. And that ties into this. He There's this crazy, like, CGI throughout the whole film with bright colors and, and crazy stuff overlapping. Almost have a, has a trippy kind of look to it. Um, interesting. By nowadays standards, people who know how to do, you know, graphic effects and stuff, they probably look at it and think it looks like crap. I don't. So to me... I just find it trippy and interesting and weird that there's this bunch of overlaid like effects and weird colors and stuff. Um, I didn't, in terms of having politics in films, I'm really over it. I, I find social commentary and politics in films to be very ham-fisted at this point. Uh, this is no different. It's very, very 
you know, this Texan businessman owns everything and he's hates the liberal media and he hates this and he's a, you know, diehard staunch conservative and they just paint him in such this horrible light and I'm just sort of sick of seeing it. I, I think that um, there are bad people in one area and bad people in the other and you have to sort of mix and match things that you like and see where you land. But either way, there's definitely a political undertone to this film uh, and a anti-religious undertone because the first story is about a priest, the second one's about this over-the-top conservative, and the last one is about the Secretary of Defense and how evil of a man he is torturing these, you know, um, political prisoners and terrorists. So it's definitely a anti-establishment type of film, um, which doesn't always do it for me because I do like some of that stuff personally, but I try not to mix art and, and religion or politics or anything like that. Um, and just take this at a face value, but it's definitely a trope that sort of ran its course over the years. Recently, I watched the new Candyman, and I thought that was pretty heavy-handed in certain areas, but I digress. So, it's an interesting film, interesting CGI. Um, I think it has a lot of heart. I think the people who made this really tried their hardest, and if you like horror anthologies and low-budget B-schlock, Definitely recommend The Lower Circle. If you are into Hollywood blockbuster anthologies and things um, that have millions and millions and millions of dollars budget-wise, you won't like this movie. But if you're like me and you like crap, check out The Lower Circle and um, on archive.org. And big shout-out again to my buddy Gabriel for uploading this because I would have never known about it or seen it. So I really liked it. I thought it was interesting. It held my attention. Uh, I liked the visual effects. Um, I thought some of the story elements were interesting, and, you know, there's a decent amount of sleaze and uh, violence and just interesting concepts. So, check out The Lower Circle, and because I am a fan of Dante's Inferno, um, I did read a few different adaptations of it, and I played the video game. It sort of has that element going on, too, that I enjoyed. So, let me know, guys, if you do watch it on archive.org, what you thought, because I enjoyed it. And uh, please weigh in in the comments. And I, as I said, I'll put in the description the link to archive.org. Thanks, guys, for watching. It's Vampire Mike from Sega CD Universe. Be good.